Alright, it's been a while since I made a video like this, but I finally decided to get back to it and make another Moon Animator tutorial. So without any more delay, let's get right into that. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video where today I will be showing you how to animate objects because you might see someone like, let's say inside games, you might see someone throwing a fireball and you're like, wait, how did you do that? So that does take scripting but also takes the animating. So I'm going to show you the animating part right now in this video. So we're going to be using the moon animator as usual. Um, if you haven't watched any of my previous uh, tutorials, make sure you do watch them so you do know what I'm doing and I have covered all of this. Alright, so let's get right into that. So I have loaded it in a sphere already from parts. You can come down, you can load it in right there. If you come into plugins, I am going to be using the moon animator. Make sure you watch the previous tutorials if you haven't to make sure you know what you're doing. In the animation, I'm just going to name this one sphere. And what you are going to be... Oh. Sphere 2, I guess. Alright, so just how you added avatars and different parts as avatars and you could just do the exact same thing with the ball so press on sphere this one you want to load in c frame color uh size and transparency i'm gonna bring material just in case i might play around with that as well so what this does actually i'm just gonna quickly get you started you know um all right so you want to select everything that's how you do it in normal animation press equal sign on your keyboard so I'm just going to quickly show you how this works. Let's say I bring it here, C frame, I go home, move. Let's say I move this here, C frame, press the equal sign. And now it moves. There you go, right there. Now that is pretty slow. If I want to make this a bit faster, I just bring it closer there and it'll move faster. So now we're just going to be playing around with that. I, I am going to quickly show you a quick clip of my first animation I ever used using the objects yeah, it does look pretty sick just throwing a huge fireball and here it is yeah that does look pretty sick again i could have added more detail to it now that i know how to use the moon animator a bit more i could have added more tracks but i'm just gonna keep it basic for this one so again i just showed you how to move it now you could do whatever you want to it all right so i just showed you how to move it so now you could actually add a the transparency and play around with the material the color so i'm just going to delete this one really quick if you press on the sphere where to go properties i'm going to change the color to red like i oh yuck, that's not red all right this one a material i'm gonna go for neon because that looks really cool now here this is what i did so i'm just gonna quickly move this up this how it'd be in its normal position I have to quickly delete this one. Sphere, where do you go? Bring that up. Scale that, make it smaller. And put that in there. Um, Alright, so now that it's that small, I can have my avatar down here. And now let's because it did look like my the ball just totally appeared out of nowhere but that's not what I did what I did actually I went to sphere and then made it fully transparent so you want to make that fully transparent like it's invisible you're gonna come over but you know what I'm actually do have no clue what I'm doing right now I keep messing it up all right I'm gonna get rid of that not that I'm gonna get rid of this keyframe right here so I'm just gonna add everything to it right now. So yeah, before you start animating it, make sure you make it just do the, all of this right at the beginning, so you don't have to do it after. Um, here, put color there. Move it up here. C frame. Enter. So now you have a total invisible ball. So now we're gonna slowly, slowly start animating it. So I'm gonna bring this a bit over. Wait, why did I do that? Oh. This is something I keep doing over and over again. I start rushing into it. So before we even start animating it, I'm gonna bring it up. It's 
been a while I've been in Roblox Studio. I kind of started with Blender. And I've kind of been busy with that, trying to figure out how to do stuff, making models. So I've been really busy with that. Right there. Move that a bit higher. Now I'm going to bring, enter all this in. There we go. I'm going to bring it over a bit. And now we're going to start animating the ball. Sphere, I'm going to make that a bit less transparent. As you know, first, of, yeah. That's good enough. Size, or size up? I'm not going to use this for size, I'm just going to use scale and it's just going to go straight into C-frame so I won't be using size because I do find it easier. Let's put that like that and size, you're going to enter that in and that change transparency. So there you go. It starts totally invisible, gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Size that is a little bit too fast. All right, I'll make it grow just a bit more transparency. Bring that down, make it almost fully visible. Uh, I'm going to scale that. Oops. All right, now here, I'm gonna shoot it straight out that way. So I'm gonna go here. Once it gets here, I'm gonna go sphere. Move. Enter. Enter. Let's go a bit more. Oops. Again, let's practice. You can make better animations. You can use different objects. It doesn't have to be a ball this big. You can have a small fireball in the hand, animate an arm throwing it. So this is what it's gonna look like. Alright, that seems pretty good speed. So now what I could do here, I could load in my avatar. Uh, where is the plugins? Mm -hmm. This one, I'll rename that. Test. Now add. Okay. So now where that ball go? There it is. Mm -hmm. Alright, the sphere should be right there. So now if I were to move this. There we go. Now again, that is okay. That seems pretty good. I'm gonna have to bring me a bit a little closer. All right. So just like my old animation, I'm just gonna quickly animate this. I'm gonna run through it, and you could just do your own. Um uh, yeah, I'm just gonna click skip through this.
Alright, so I think I'm finally done. Again, I didn't make a very detailed, that took like 3 to 5 minutes for that. It's gonna be something really quick. And here, this is what it looks like. Again, not the best looking thing. I could have put more detail into it, but just for the sake of the video, you could actually animate much better things. You could have like two balls there, and you could have them like running forward and then throwing them. And then you could have another person on this side that like kicks it back or I don't know, absorbs it. You could actually make some really cool stuff. Um, yeah, this video is gonna be pretty short, but again, you, you don't have you don't have to just use the sphere. You could use any other thing. I in the future once I to get more time i will show you how to make more objects like with this like let's say you have a ball let's say how you want to get that into a half ball or a quarter ball or let's say you have a block and you want to make something else out of it and i'll be showing you how to make different shapes with these basic parts that it will give you and yeah i hope that does help help you out it gets you started on your object animating if you want that to deal damage in a game or something you'll have to start scripting that and also in scripts you won't have like invisible you'll have to actually script it for it to appear whenever you use that and scripting is really not my thing i might get into in the future but nothing right now uh, and again make sure you do save your animation you don't want to lose that and again i will just stay there make sure you do not touch that leave it where it is and yeah i hope this video actually helped a lot of you out now i have to go and make some thumbnails and i'll see you in the next video